Welcome to a Friday night, everybody. As you can see, it's a beautiful night. It's um, June 7th today. Kicking up a lot of dust, actually. Um, so just to give, uh, so my last video was really um, on Sunday, now it's Friday, um, just because of normal work week. Uh, besides a rain, I believe, Wednesday night, uh, and only three tenths, uh, we uh, missed out um, on, on a lot of the rains, which thankfully we've been praying for. Um, but uh, quite a few days of 80 degrees, uh, breezes, heat, it really, really helped. So overall I'm, I'm getting across everything uh, this field will be good to plant um, really looking forward to that so there's about 42 acres uh, currently you know at 35 and a half there's this one thing in the field so I gotta go around it well anyways like this this area up ahead was an area that couldn't even remotely touch uh, last Friday as in it just was not nothing was gonna happen you can see where I almost got stuck um, and yeah I, I know the theory behind uh, obviously the dates is the further you get along the less yield you're gonna get but all I can think of is had I had I gone ahead and just mucked uh, mucked this in you know we would have it, it wouldn't have it came up um, or if it did it would have been more impacted than you know having just waited now that being said uh, there was really no guarantee that it was going to stop raining um, so eventually you're going to just have to do it but yeah this <laughs> you can see the uh, the tracks in front of me this is me going downhill um, and this is when I wasn't even pulling the uh, the rolling baskets, and I couldn't even scrape the top of the surface. So, uh, looking forward to getting this done. Like I said, 42 acres, 36 acres in now. Um, then have another uh, another almost 18 acre piece uh, that we'll get. Uh, field probably tonight too and, and then go hook up the planter and start going with it so I'm gonna turn around quick there we go turned around going again as you can see it's a it's a really nice night so we'll uh, keep going with it and uh, did bring up my GoPro, so may have some different views on that. And I just uh, will be thankful to get this planted. Uh, you don't really think to be planting corn the 8th of June, but you know, like I said before, thankful, uh, thankful that we did get this break to get it in, and, and thankful that it timed up with my uh, my normal job as well. So. Yeah, we'll keep getting at it and go from there. Well, it ended up being a little bit later of a night uh, than had planned, um, just in terms of where where I'm at for the night. Uh, uh, field cultivating went well on the one property. On the other, uh, it's still it's still pretty wet, so it's doable, but it's uh, it was wet. And actually, uh, my one kind of rule with only having the one big tractor and uh, and then that's it is uh, to not get stuck yeah so really the rule is uh, don't get in a position to get stuck just because that that's it um, do have the loader tractor but that's not gonna exactly pull it out so um yeah uh, I went ahead and uh, buried the tractor to the frame um, it's kind of uh, not 
trying to think through what the next steps would be. Um, I ended up uh, uh, just unhooking from the field cultivator and baskets. Um, and, you know, the tractor kind of just popped right out after that. And then uh, just backed in at a really sharp angle and was able to pull the pull the field cultivator and basket out from that. But I'm thinking, um, so I'll plant in the morning and um, I'm thinking that field with the almost supposed to be 90 tomorrow, you know, it can dry out pretty well uh, over the course of the day. And I think the top will be dry enough that it will be good enough to plant. So that's the plan so far. Um, and we'll just go from there. We'll see how it goes tomorrow, but call it a night for now. And um, the one field uh, worked up really nice. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, hit it tomorrow. Mm -hmm.